so we're back at it with the mower today, and uh, it's exciting times because we're gonna start uh, figuring out all the wiring and everything for the Haltech ECU, so we can uh, so we can start this thing. I'm going to make a bracket to hold all these coils in place. I have them all plugged in just so I can know like how far away from each other they can be. Project Coils is coming along nicely. Uh, I tried a bunch of different arrangements of them all over the place, but this is the one that's gonna look the best and be the cleanest, so I just made this plate out of a fairly thin chunk of aluminum um, with holes for all of them, so they'll just all be in a row like that. Um, and conveniently, I was able to use this bolt hole with a little spacer straight through into this fuel pressure regulator uh, relief valve thing, whatever that is. So that's one mount point. I just gotta make a couple more here. I'll use these fuel rail bolts, um, make a couple little brackets, and then we'll have a uh, coil plate, which will also uh, hide all the injector wiring. So that's, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but that's what it's gonna do. <laughs> It took a minute, but we got the coils mounted. Got the mount plate bolted on with this bolt, that bolt, and that bolt. All six coils on there, all plugged in with their wires, all zip tied in all nice and pretty. I'll get started making a injector harness out of the injector harness off of one of the 2Js that'll just have all those wires come out back here, kind of in this general vicinity, and then we can tie those into the Haltech harness, um, but that way we'll have all the little clips for the uh, injectors. Today is uh, Technicolor Spaghetti Day, <laughs> AKA Wiring Day. Um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm working on, all the wiring. Um, I've already got some of it kind of sorted out to where it goes. It's all, of course, labeled because Haltech is awesome, so it's all bundled together. Like this is the bundle of injector wires and all the different stuff. So I'm starting with the fuel pump just because I don't know, it's the easiest, it's one wire. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of this video, Omaze, because they're giving away a Dodge Ram TRX. That's right, the truck with the 702 horsepower V8 from a Hellcat. This is the fastest truck on the market. It can go zero to 60 in under four seconds, and it's on 35s. The thing is a beast. Taxes and shipping are included if you do win, and better yet, every donation benefits a great cause. A not-for-profit charity called Team Rubicon that is a veterans-led disaster relief program. And all you have to do is go to omaze.com slash grindhard to enter for your chance to win. So go to omaze.com slash grindhard, enter yourself to win, and maybe you'll end up with one of the coolest production trucks ever made. But let's get back to building. Injectors all wired up, so that's all nice and tidy and good there. We just need to get some split loom to cover everything up when we're done. And then got a big bundle of wires here going up underneath to coolant temp sensor, the two knock sensors. I just finished wiring in the crank and cam position sensors up here. So that whole harness is all secured in there so it doesn't rattle around too much. So next thing I'm gonna wire up is the wideband O2 sensor. Once I make an exhaust, we'll put a 
port where they're merged so that it's measuring off of all of them. But we're gonna wire this up. We've got, it even came with a bung, so we can save that and weld that in to the new section. And then we've got the little connector harnesses, the two sensor, which I believe should thread right into that hole. Yep. And then here's the wideband controller that uh, you know, talks to the ECU. So uh, I'm wiring in the uh, accelerator pedal, which is pretty exciting. Um, and uh, as far as I can tell from the wiring diagrams, it needs two five volt signals wires and two sensor ground wires and uh you know that's what these two wires are they don't need to be separate they just need you know, like these go back to the same place in the ecu so uh rather than cut the end of it and splice another piece on to go into the pin out i just made a slit in the uh sheathing here and then just slid it down a little bit and now we've got two I'm sure that's, you know, like the way it's supposed to be done, but I've never done it before, so it's exciting for me. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an absolute certainty that this is the most high-tech uh, Simplicity Power Max on the planet now. <laughs> there is no question about that. Yeah, it's starting to uh, starting to look like something that could run. So yeah, we got the uh, ends for these in this morning. Um, got them all crimped on. This one annoys me because this little vent tube's in the way, so it can't match the rest. But it doesn't actually matter. It just you know slightly asymmetrical, so it's annoying. <laughs> but uh, also got a air intake temp sensor. The last time I was working on it, I got the uh, throttle pedal wired in. Um, at least I think that's how it should be wired. It's kind of hard to tell when you're dealing with a, a stock part from one vehicle and aftermarket parts from other ones. I've been going through these and looking at all the diagrams and this is uh, probably all extra stuff that we don't need. It's certainly stuff we don't need right now. I'm not gonna completely get rid of all these wires, but we're never gonna need them this long because no matter what we're doing, we're not going that long. Uh, so I'm gonna snip them all off, which is for some reason quite stressful. I don't really know why, but it, like, it, it stresses me out. I feel like I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna be like, no! Spaghetti! What's done is done. Yeah. Finally got the plug for the drive-by wire throttle body. So I'm wiring that in with this, uh, and I have three different tabs open on my phone or to figure the wiring out. We've done a lot of weird things, but this is weird. Yeah, it may be weird, but it works. So there's a bunch of holes in the bottom of the intake here in a thicker plate that are for, uh, you know, like map sensor and various other vacuum fittings. Well, I wanted to plumb the air intake temp sensor in here and it needs to be 3 8 pipe thread. So 
I didn't want any pieces going in the engine and I also didn't want to take the intake manifold off. So vacuum into the intake manifold, leave it running while I drill and tap it. Well, uh, that's pretty much the wiring done. Um, aside from any things that I may have done wrong that we won't figure out until we plug in the computer and start calibrating things, and aside from any extras we may do later, that's everything to make the engine run. We got our ignition switch. We got our start button. Um, and we decided this battery does not fit in there and it's worth fitting one, so we're actually gonna get two smaller battery batteries and uh, wire them together so we can have enough cranking amps. Yeah, uh, got the fuse box, relay box mounted here. I think that looks really nice. Clean it out of the way. The, the ECU will mount right here um, on this side panel and I filled that in with a piece of 16 gauge to um, give it a nice flat mounting surface. So that's all good to go. The wiring harness is all zip tied and heat shrinked and split loomed and tidied up. And then, um, yeah, so we'll get Casey up here to help us calibrate and tune everything for the basic first test start. And um, yeah, we should be able to do that next week. So very, very exciting. It's so close. <laughs> it's been such a long journey. Also, this is the last week to enter to win a Rogue Fab Bender. So head to the website for the details, check that out, pick up some sweet merch, maybe win a sweeter bender. that's all we had time for this week but on Friday we have an awesome drift trike video coming out so look forward to that one but I got a personal ask for you guys I've been making digital art even before I was making grind hard videos <laughs> and with the recent NFT movement I'm trying to get a part of foundation so I can list my artwork up on there so if you have any idea what I'm talking about or have an Ethereum wallet uh, if you're on a computer you could just vote my profile it ends on the second and if I get like 200 votes then I get to list my artwork there so I would really really appreciate it guys and if you have no idea what I'm talking about it's all good <laughs> stay tuned for Friday and it's gonna be awesome